Hey guys, Computeros is here, and I'm here to do a very special Let's Play. You wanna know why it's special? It's because I'm playing a game that I could not find a Let's Play for. And, and I'm being serious. Uh, the clothes I see were walkthroughs and gameplay footage, but no one's actually done a Let's Play of this game. Which, it's kind of surprising because I kind of like it and hate this game. That's why I'm, uh, I'm recording it using uh, this other camera. I don't know what I'm I don't know if it's going to be an HD or not, but I don't care. So anyway, let's begin the game. Open it. Figured it out. This is Let's Play Virtual Quest. Yes, the game that was supposed to be the uh, Virtual Fighter um, hybrid thingy jigger. So anyway, um, let's begin, shall we? Uh, we're going to be getting a new game, and you know, now. Oh yes, we're going to be seeing that a lot. Access. Instead of loading, it's access. I'm gonna try to make this as lively as possible. Lively as possible. Oh yeah, you can insert as many matrix jokes as you want. I don't I don't care. <laughs> oh, you can also add in uh, Mega Man jokes. Especially that one Mega Man series that came out in uh, in the early so two thousand of a forgotten server. Say, yeah. Hurry up and get the data chip. We don't have much time to do this, you know. Don't get so excited, Hayami. This is my first time, remember? Yeah, my first time jacking in. Dice man. Security's gonna nab you if you just sit there. Yeah, yeah, what well, Okay, so how am I supposed to find this data chip again? Shh, weren't you listening? No. something you can break. So Smashing stuff. Find it and get back here. Okay, so you want me to destroy virtual property. Okay. Um first off, all I can do is jump. I can wait a minute. I'm moving the arm button, but I can't move the camera. No! No! Bad. Now to be honest, the actual way of moving the camera is actually using the L1. Yeah, and when you're first playing this, and you have no instruction book for it, you will quickly think that you control the camera using the, uh, using the off stick. Nope, that controls a lot of things. Look, I have virtual Indiana Jones. And that's enough Indiana Jones jokes I want to make. And apparently, I can't attack it. All I can do is jump. Da, da, da. Dun 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 Yeah. I just made a reference like that. Well, I don't care. Let's just continue on with whatever we have to do. Find these data watch my cuts. Mmm. I'll take my data chip. And... Hey! Security always comes when you hang around too long. That robot's probably a protector. 
Hayami, Hayami, it's coming after me. What should I do? Yeah, man. You know that Hunter's blog on your right hand? It isn't just for show. I thought it was. The martial arts program's installed on it. Press the circle button to attack. Give it a try. Yes, I'm playing this game for the PS2. Wouldn't say it's anything better or anywhere worse than the GameCube version. I can never find the GameCube version. All I can find is this version. Oh yeah! As you clearly see, I just used the water as a combo move. Let's try it again, because I don't want to go there myself. And... Yeah, because I don't want to jump up and get it myself. You can call it cheap, I call it... I don't really call it anything. So yeah. Um, okay. That's what a data chip looks like. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, this is a data chip. Sounds like you got it! Now get back here. Just log out and you'll be home free. Sorry, I had to do some stuff. So I couldn't make fun of that cutscene. Yep. Ah. Yes, insert Matrix joke here. Now you're gonna find out the the I guess the the plot that starts the plot. I guess. I don't know, you'll quickly forget it soon. Nice work! Looks like you made it back. Without a hitch. Uh, I'll try not to spoil Are stuff. Because, Give me a break. Well, not that people know about this game. Get this? And people who know about this game don't later. want to play this game because, game. well, That's all that matters, they right? don't like it. Just let me see I don't know. It, it, okay. It's okay to a point, but there's just times where I'm like, okay, I what? hate the for a second. I hate what I have to do. Really, the hey, same enemy I have to beat up. Don't know. Blame me. This is my first shot at treasure hunting, remember? Yeah, it's your first shot at being repetitive. You keep making excuses like that all the time. They're not gonna do any better with the air by grace in Acropolis either, say? Wait, air by grace? Look, maybe I should just leave. Come on, Good. give me one more chance, you. I honestly. We're gonna get you in the crack, so. Yeah, I promise. Well, I can't get your bike ready right away anyway, so I guess... Okay, okay let, let me just sum this up for you. We'll just save up enough money for They're going to enter an airbag race, but they need parts for their bike. Unfortunately, those par parts cost money. So how are they going to get the money? From finding data chips. Which they can cash in for money, and somebody can buy parts, somebody can enter a race that I think you don't see. I'm sorry, but... I'm not sure. Looks been so I'm just pretending to say that because, well... To make it fun, I've sent you a hunter's glove like you've always wanted. Have fun in Nexus, son. Oh, if you haven't noticed, I yeah, the acting's not that good. I don't know. I can compare it to Sonic Adventure. I've never seen this type before. So, really? You either have That's how good the acting is. It's as good as it is in Sonic Adventure. <laughs> there are just points where you're like, original? really? Hey, That's how you say the line? Good? So, Did whatever. you say that your dad was a Nexus engineer? Uh, really? there. I wish I were good enough to make something like this. Really? My dad's that good? Really? I, I never got to knew my father. I want to try logging in. I mean, all I saw was hey, that opening see, sequence. Wait a sec. Huh? Given your last treasure hunting experience, I think it'd be better if you go to the hunter site and get a hunter's license first. A hunter's hunter license? license? The yeah, hunter's we're all thinking that. organization created to help you and fellow hunters out with things. They oh, give you a hunter's kay. license when you become a guild member. It's sort of like an ID card. The guild can teach you all sorts of things, and other hunters get together there to share information about Nexus. You have right. nothing to lose by joining. Okay. Well, let's check it out then. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because, you know, I always wanted to be a treasure hunter. Right? Say, check in. Power up. In the not-so-distant future, okay. mankind has begun to live in places other than just the surface of the Earth. I learned that from watching when, when. However, 
human desire knows no bounds. Not satisfied with the real world, people have taken to living their lives in virtual reality, created by computers. I thought, I thought computers were created by man, so in other words, we create the system. Oh dear, this matrix plot all over again. Yeah, you don't see these many and anime inspired cut scenes like these. Nexus has become a part of everyday life. Yes. We live, breathe Nexus. In fact, As we have to pay like multiple data chips just for a cup of coffee. The data servers appeared. However, uh -huh. people continue to live even here in the forgotten corners of Nexus. Mm. And then, there are those who access these forgotten areas and search for lost data. Who are they called? These explorers have come to be known as, as treasure hunters. Yeah, so that's basically the explanation for everything. Or is it? Access! Okay, I probably will do this joke. This will probably be for this one episode where I keep saying ACCESS every time ACCESS appears on the screen. ACCESS! REJECTED! Ha ha! My hair says this joke is pretty pathetic! Ah. So, um, is it just me or am I starting to feel a fantasy star ride while looking at this? Please let me know if you feel the same exact vibe that I'm feeling now. Whoa. Whoa. So this is what copying off fantasy star this star looks like. Welcome to the hunter site. You must be a new hunter, am I right? You must be a computer right. program and not an actual person. Now for the nature of things, the, sorry, please select the topic you would like to know more about. Okay, since we're all new to this whole Nexus thing, uh, tell us, tell us about login. I, I, I don't understand, even though know, I got in here by logging in, I don't understand the concept of logging in. Is it WWW or do you use, like, numbers or letters or something? Please! Access! Explain it to me. Please, please do. We all want to know. Do you see that terminal at the bottom of the slope? Um, I just you noticed this. You can log this. into different servers from there. If you've got a hunter's license, then you can use our terminal and log into all sorts of different worlds. Too bad our world You'll need a limited. server's address in order to access one. Ah, no wonder they're oh. limited. How do I get a server address? You can get them from other hunters, or find them through other means. Huh. So it's like that one golf club. You can't enter them unless you're invited. That makes sense, I guess. Okay, so we learned on the login. Uh, tell me, tell me about the shops here. Um, like... Do I get stuff for free? What are in the shops? What am I supposed to expect there? And why do you even have shops in the first place? You know, access. Please, explain it to all of us. Oh, guys, this is the whole part just going to be one gigantic corner. There, treasure hunters can purchase things. Like items, or upgrade tools. Upgrade tools? Ooh, hello. What if the treasure hunter doesn't have any money? Yeah. Well, they don't take cash there anyway. What? They you mean a millionaire can't buy set. stuff from here? Oh, data chips. Wait, uh, you mean the same as that data so chips data that we're using to get here. money out of it? Data so we can get an air bike? On the straight film, we're just going to be getting a whole bunch of data chips and wasting it on, uh, on crap to buy. Instead of worrying on the important things, like working on that air bike. Or did we totally forget about that subplot altogether? Anyway, um, 
My friend told me about Hunter licenses, but he didn't have a full explanation for it. And by a full explanation, I meant that I pretty much zoned them out because I don't really give a fuck about it. Please, send me your description of a Hunter's license. Access! The man with the beard standing over there is a treasure hunter. What Speak man to him beard? to take the hunter's test. You have to pass the hunter's test in order to receive a hunter's license. Hey, and there is a the man with a beard. I can barely tell because the camera won't go. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's wearing a beard. I wonder if he has any hair. Um, what sort of test is it? it? Exactly. It's basic training. You must pass the obstacle courses. Learn how to attack and how to correctly use your wire. Okay. Hmm. What how many times we can fail that test? Because because I don't care about passing it. Anyway, you know what? That that's all I can tell. Line. Ah, I never thought of that about your attire. So yeah. Is there anything you're not sure of? Please feel free to ask me. Trust me, this will be the last time I'm going to talk to you. Although, if you want to get together, I know this uh, neat place I found out about while watching episode 4 of Ren. And if you're interested, keep me interested. Here's my server address. Anyway, let's see. Let's talk to random people. Hello, bye. There are data chips and other items hidden all over next to Make sure to keep your eyes peeled. Yes, and you and your flying dog feet. Hey, Yuli. Please for a minute. Hope you want to done with this customer here. Now, do you want the large or the small? Okay, it looks like you're going to be here for a while, so. Oh, yes. Heh. <laughs> uh, watch me as I try to get used to the camera work. Like, how do I move the camera around? No, the button work. And I can't use the R3 button. All I can do is just press L1. And you look like Cecile. This is my first time walking in the next year. Oh, I'm just so excited. Okay. You and your frog. Man, why does everybody have cool pets and I don't? I feel left out now. Anyway. Let's see. Ooh, these cool people. Can you tell me how to get a pet? Your HP drops to zero on that thing. Then you'll lose all your data chips and items. That's why, whatever you do, don't forget to save your, save your backup data as often as possible. Wait, you could die here? Huh. Maybe there should be another way to get money. Like actually getting a job. The fun part about hunting is finding all the data chips that other folks have overlooked. I get such a feel when I find ones that are worth a whole lot. Huh. Somebody tells me that they're just going to keep reappearing in that same location. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. And let's see. We got a save tomorrow. We're not going to save this yet. We'll do it later. Later. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the camera there. Anyway. Hey, who got a club? There's two places here the next to us that are under security. There are programs that are called protectors that attack us hunters to keep us out. If you get knocked out, then you will lose all memory of what happened up until then. Make sure you are prepared. Hmm. You know, for a guy named Astad, you don't see any damn Spanish accent. Maybe that's just me. Oh, nice day. Man, everybody has a pet except me. And I just not complain about that. Go ya? Go ya. Your name sounds familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. I hear the tip the hunter's test. Um Yes. Yes we are. That's the spirit. Let's get started, shall we? Come with me. Method one. Jumping. Press the X button, fool. Okay. So, lesson one. Learn how to jump. Hmm. Let's see. Fastest time is three seconds. Really? This must be an easy challenge then. Jump up and reach the goal. You can press. Jump by pressing the X button. Press the X button again in midair to make you do a double jump. Okay. Keep the camera. 
let me jump. Oh yeah! Good. Eight seconds. I think we're getting ready for hacks. I call hacks. Anyway, on to the next lesson. Access. I'm gonna kill this joke in the first level. First episode. Whatever. Okay, 15 seconds. Hang from the clutch hitch and reach the goal. Jump up and hold the left arrow up toward the building and grab the ledge. And then you can move side to side. Hold up the left arrow stick and press this quick square button to climb up. You can hang on to magics. Jump and hold the left level stick toward the building and grab the arm. You can move from side to side while hanging by moving the left arrow stick. Hold down the left arrow stick and press the S button to let go. Press D, L2 button to drag that camera to reach right to your face. Oh, L1. Thank you. Hold up the left arrow stick and press the S button. Hey, you didn't allow me to finish, fool. Yeah, I'm sorry. You were talking and I and you were just zoning out. You know. Don't care. Access. Goya, are you the one saying access? No. Now for attacking. Let's see. 18 seconds. I cannot beat that time. Bring all the red objects and reach the goal. Press the drop button to attack. You can always attack while jumping. Press the stop button to attack. You can also attack while jumping. Okay, now you're just repeating yourself. Okay, anyway. Stupid camera. I'm trying to straighten you up. Straight. Yeah. 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 Woo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can also try to beat your best time, but really, you get no prize out of it. Uh, well, except for self-pride, but then again, no one knows about your self-pride unless you brag about it at school. But then when you arrive out at school, you, you were like, what's Virtual Quest? And then you were like, hey, isn't that that one game that sucked and it was the baddest spin-off to Virtual Fighter? Have I mean, you played that? It's much more better. Anyway, wall running. Yes, there's wall running. Insert Matrix joke here. Run over the walls to reach the goal. Jump against the wall and press and hold the script button. Let it right, jump. You can run along walls by jumping toward it. And press and hold the button. Give it a try. I'm already doing it. Run straight at the wall and press the button to do a backwards circumstance. Done. Oh yeah. Funny story. I have failed on almost all of these challenges. Well, except for the one that was attacking. Yeah. You can fail if you're not careful. Access. There's supposed to be a cheat where if you fail so many times, then basically you just... You basically just pass the test anyway. I'll probably show that later because there are a couple of times where I'm just like, Nope, I don't want to do this. So anyway, use the wire to reach the goal. Lift the right arrow stick to fire your wire and throw the wire hooks. Press the X button. Okay. Blah blah blah. Whee! Yes, you get to see all the different wires. One just propels you forward. One is like a corkscrew, which you can mess up on, and it can lead to your death. Or not get up that ledge. Then there's the one that always moves, and then there's the one that just takes you there, and then the one that you basically swing while you're with your arm swing. And the higher you swing, the better it is, and stuff. Get up there. Ha! This one will always piss me off. Especially when it comes to ones where you have to do it just right or else you have to stall over again. Oh yeah! Yeah, they saved the worst one for last. And that's gonna be the one that could kill you. Or hurt you. Or both. They are the biggest pain to my side. Besides some other stuff that you have to do in this game. Now for the actual beginner's test! That's where we put all those tests that you've done before and put them all together! Yeah! You can do it less than 45 seconds? No! Good! When you clear this test, then you receive your hunter license! 
give it your best shot. Oh, and just to let you know, your hunter's license is basically how you level up in this game. Yeah. Nothing special on that. Anyway, jump, jump, double jump, double jump, switch camera, jump, and on. Shimmy to the left, go shimmy to the right, keep shimmying, keep shimmying, shim shimmy, shim shimmy, shim shimmy, shim shimmy, shim shimmy, this song is copyrighted and not for me. Ah! Yep, that's what happens if you fail. It says out, but you can try again. Yeah. Trust me, later in the game, if you see that, that would just piss you off. To the point where you're like, okay, I don't even want to do this test anymore. And you would li literally kill yourself on purpose because you hate these tests. Like, I don't claim myself to be a master at this game, but seriously, some of these tests are just... Really? Did the QA test is really was that good to literally pass these tests? Like, yeah, these tests are difficult, but I'm pretty sure any, any kid can can do the, can pull this off. I I deep faith in Oh yeah, another thing. There are there are certain tests you later on where you have to take care of all of these. If you miss just one and you rescan, you will have to do it all over again. So you wanna prevent yourself from pissing yourself off um yourself off even more then make sure you keep track of where they are. Oh yeah, you can only do the wire when you're not on your gun. Which is weird, because Batman can shoot, can shoot his wire up in the air and he can instantly go up, but no, you can't do it. We stole this guitar riff from Sonic! So yeah, we will have to do these tests ever again. Hooray! Unless you want to get a best record access. Boo! And no one wants to be a suck up. Especially when you don't get nothing in return. You only do that in real life with charity. That's the only reliable source when you do that. You bastard hunters! 